enough has been said about Africa's insurmountable resources, the potential that we have, and, and we have heard that story many, many times. You know, Africa has this, Africa has that. What is standing in our way? What is really blocking the way forward? Africa, wake up. Africa, rise up. Africa, without borders. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much for this question. Um, first of all, let me thank the African Private Sector Summit for giving us this opportunity for the youth of Africa to be able to voice out and share our opinions as well as our decisions with the elders of Africa. Now back to your question. What is standing in the way of Africans? Africa is standing in the way. We are Africans and we're standing in our own way. Now, the reason why I say this is when you look around the world, you see different type of black people who have claimed identities of different countries in the world. Hello? Good? So you have the black British, you have the black Americans, you have the Afro-Africans, all sort of black people to add to your identity crisis as we're facing as black people. But yet, we are sitting on the most reserved resources in this world. The question is, how can you be sitting on a gold mine and start looking for the gold? That's the point that makes us stand in our own way as Africans. Because we have everything, but we haven't found the actual solution to be able to turn these things into wealth. And that is industrialization. Every continent on this planet that has become a success or gained a successful story have industrialized their country, their continent, and their people. So to touch on what uh, Osman said, you know, human development is very important. Whenever you add something to the mindset you are changing a nation. One man cannot change a nation, but one man can impact the heart of a nation to change the nation. And so we are talking about education in Africa and we've only based it on academic resources. When we have to educate ourselves about our own resources. I mean, so I'm gonna share this one example with you guys. Um, what I started my business and I've been doing business from the age of 16. I had to separate it from my academic education completely because I realized that the people who were teaching me in school were teaching me about other people's history and teaching me about geography that I didn't know what I was going to do with it. They were teaching me science and other stuff but I was not ready to be a doctor and all of these things were just kind of scattering all in my head, so I concentrated on my business separately. Now, over the years, I realized one thing, that the same thing that I had to change my mind on is the same thing that is affecting the youth who are coming up. The education that they are having is diverting them to a different place. So everybody in Africa doesn't have the hope to become a successful person because they have been convinced to have an education that will give them a good job one day. What if we started educating our kids to become a business man or an entrepreneur right from the get-go? Now this is what I call education. If we give this opportunity to the youth of Africa today, which is 60% of the population of Africa, we would have the strongest arm, the strongest labor, the strongest entrepreneurs, the strongest industrialists to be able to industrialize our own resources and create the wealth that we need so we don't go back out there to beg the World Bank and the IMFs and to beg them for money so we can build our roads. The money is right here. The resources are right here. The human capacity is right here. In Africa, if you don't mind getting out of the way 
for this youth to build a new Africa. Please, we're here to do it. Thank you. Africa is standing on the way of Africa. Africa has all what it takes to be an industrialized continent. But still, Africa is lacking behind because of an educational system that was designed for us Africans to keep looking elsewhere for our gold. Meanwhile, we have the gold at home. Africa needs to be educated by their own resources. Africa needs to be educated by their own culture. Africa needs to be educated by their own tradition. Africa needs to be educated by their own state governance. And for that to happen, there must be that policy and a system put in place to drive Africa to industrialization. Africa, wake up. Africa, rise up. Africa without borders. Africa, continental free trade area. The time is now. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.